8 Kilobyte Productions presents an association with Spinning Wheels Productions. A wondrous, wonderful thing has happened. I am up to 1,000, no, 10,000 subscribers. And it's all thanks to you guys. So I thought in honor of my 10,000 subscribers, I'd answer all of your most popular questions. Like I said I was going to. So, Zach Last acts, acts, I mean asks, how old are you? Well, I'm not going to hide it any longer. I am 39 years old. I know I don't look it, but that is how old I am. I know I look more like maybe 17, 18, more around that age, but the thing is, I didn't want to grow up. So I did whatever I could to try to just not age. I would give anything to be a kid again. I mean, this is what I used to look like. I'd look in the mirror and I'd see this face. I've never gotten used to looking in the mirror and seeing this ugly face. I look in the mirror and I say, just who the hell are you? And I'm more interested in, you know, things that appeal to kids than things that appeal to adults. I'm basically just a kid and an adult body has just never grown up. So yeah, when I was about 12, I thought I would stay a kid forever and never age. But my life turned out more like this. Mean old bugger. Hope I never get old and crotchety. Well, you are gonna be old one day, Junior, if you're lucky. Get up with you! You gotta excuse my friend here. He's never been old before. No problem, compadre. Being old can be a hoot. You just don't want it to hit you all at once. I think this is what must have happened to me. One minute I'm at the prime of my life, with high hopes for the future, I blink, and I'm like halfway to death. Where did all the time go? I'm not ready to be old yet. This is not happening! I'm not old! 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 How could you let yourself turn into this? Brutal Pizza asks, Congratulations on 10,000 subscribers, Clem. Thank you. Do you have a favourite video game of all time? If so, why and what were some of your favourite games on it? Well, I'm not really much of a console person. We did have an Atari 2600, you know, like back in the early 80s, but I don't have that anymore. Although, I did have a PlayStation back in the day, back in like maybe 1998, I think I got it. And, you know, I didn't have very many games for it, but there was, there was one franchise in particular that I did like, and that was the Crash Bandicoot franchise. My favourite of the lot being Crash Team Racing. I would play this game sort of religiously, Koka being my favourite character. It was like one of my favourite escapes from reality, it's just the whole surreal world that it took place in and the cartooniness and it's just a generally fun series of games, you know? That's why I got the Crash Insane Trilogy a few months ago, you know, to relive those games but in glorious HD and with all remastered graphics and everything. Yeah, but the PlayStation, you know, is like my fondest memories. Although when I got into the computer world and the emulation and everything, you know, my taste changed. I mean, first there was The Simpsons Hit and Run, which became like my main escape from reality because, well, I was a huge Simpsons fan at the time. I play this game like maybe three out of every four times. Mainly because I got to play as Lisa and she's my favourite character on the thing because, well, I'm not going to hide this, I used to have a bit of a crush on her, so that's one of the reasons. Then of course my taste changed to Sonic Adventure DX and then finally Portal 2, which I play every night. But the thing is with Portal 2 is it's got this workshop where you can make your own levels and you can play other level, you know, you can play levels that other people have made, which is... That's the main reason I play it, you know, it's got all that replayability value with the workshop and everything. But for consoles that I discovered through, like, emulation, I would say probably the GameCube. 
It's probably my favourite console now, even though I've never owned one, but I've played on one through an emulator, it's with all the great games and everything. So, yeah, it's a little bit hard to decide, but let's just go through a rundown of pretty much all the games I play. Right up your ass. I've noticed that there are no like first person shooters or realistic violent games because the thing is take a game like this to me this does not look like a game the graphics look far too much like real life and you know this just doesn't even remotely look like a game to me this kind of stuff just doesn't appeal to me. This is the kind of stuff that appeals to me. Because it actually looks like a game. It doesn't look like real life. And that's how I like my games. James Butcher, and I'm probably butchering your name here. Sorry if I am. Hey Clem, was there ever a third tape recorder video done from your generous donation videos a couple of years ago? I love all things real to real. Well, in answer to your question, yes, there was a third tape recorder, I just never made a video of it. And... Here it is! Sony... This is a Sony TC-252. In fact, Cassette Master has one of those as well. I just never got around to doing a video of that because... I think... I thought that a lot of people weren't really interested in tape recorder videos anymore. And this camera's gone way off centre, but yeah, I'll probably do a video of that in the near future. Mugga stuff, or however you say it. Congratulations on the 10k. Thank you. Can I ask what video editor you use? Thanks. Certainly. Adobe Premiere 6.5. Now, I've had this video editor ever since 2003. I, I used to use Windows Movie Maker before I got it, and I wasn't really all that impressed with it. And when I got Adobe Premiere, it, it just blew me away. It was just so much more advanced, and I could do so much better. And here's the thing: it didn't crash like a um, like Windows Movie Maker did. Now, I also have Shotcut as well, which is sort of like my backup video editor, but. Mainly I do all my editing on Adobe Premiere, in fact this very video has been edited on Adobe Premiere. Even though it's, you know, despite its age, I can still do full 1080i video on it. Um, I could also do 1080p, but I'd only get 30 frames a second max if I did that, but 1080i at 50 or 60 frames a second, it's no problem. Pumpkin Strikes Back says, Happy 10,000, thank you. Here's my question, do you ride a bike or drive a car? Well, um, I don't drive. I think if I did drive a car, if I did try to learn to drive a car, I've picked up so many bad habits from video games, I don't think they would be happy with that if I did that in real life. I do have a bike though, and here it is. So this bike here I made from all bits and pieces of different bikes put together. I did actually have a bike before this that I made out of bits and pieces, but that got stolen, of course. Parked it outside Tesco, went in, when I came out again, it wasn't there. And you might think this looks a bit weird with the BMX handlebars on it, but the thing is, when I ride a bike, I like to ride in comfort. I don't like to ride with my ass five miles in the air and my knuckles dragging on the ground like you do with adult-sized bikes. So that's why I put these BMX handlebars on it, so I can ride in an upright position. I don't like to ride all hunched over, it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable with all my weight shifted onto my shoulders. 
Chris Key asks, looks like you're a nice happy couple there. Happy 10,000 subscribers. Thank you. Long time subscriber. My question is, what have you done with your shed full of electrical equipment? Also, are there any more vlogs coming our way? Well, I was going to do some more vlogs. It's just that the weather has been kind of crappy lately. I mean, we had a nice heat wave in February. You know, temperatures up to like 20 and... Easter the temperatures were nice and warm, but now they've kind of gone bad, although they are slowly on the rise again. So when the temperatures get up into the 20s again, like they should eventually do, yeah, I'll be probably doing some more vlogs and ranting about things while I walk and talk to the camera. As for that shed full of electrical equipment, you don't want to go in there. I mean, most of that stuff is still there. It's just, it's a complete mess, I know. A couple of our neighbours have put all their stuff in there as well, and so I cannot really do anything until that's all gone, so... Yeah, eventually I'll get round to it, but... Joey Mac asks, do I have a job? And the answer to that is, no, I do not have a job. You see, when I was in school, I made a promise to myself that when I get out, I am going to catch up on all that time that I wasted in school quote-unquote learning about things I didn't even care about. I say learning because they didn't actually teach you anything. Well, when I was in school, they didn't teach anything, you know. There's, like, here's a workbook, here's another book to put the answers in, get on with it, and that was basically their form of teaching. You know, they didn't teach the facts of life, you know. This is this and that is that. No, here's a workbook, get on with it. Um, that was basically what, or that was basically what they did. I mean, do you call that teaching? I, do, I certainly don't. So, I made a promise to myself that when I finally get out of school, which was a long, 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 long time ago, I would first catch up on all that time that I wasted in there, and then I would start my own business. I was going to get into, first I was going to get into making video games, although... I couldn't figure out how to code, so that didn't really turn out too well. And then I thought I'd try with my animations, you know, I'd make a few animations and see if anybody sees them and wants to hire me, and uh, nothing really has happened yet. If I knew how to get my animations out there, I mean, I thought that putting them on YouTube would probably attract some talent scouts who were looking and... They would discover it, but that doesn't seem to have happened, so I really don't know what else I could really do. But yeah, there's still time. But, you know, that's what I want to do. I don't want to be my own boss. I don't want to have to work for anybody else. And the other reason I don't have a job is because I just don't have time for a job. You know, with my electronics hobby and uh, my animation I do and my music, they're... There just isn't any time for that. And if I had a job, I'd never be able to keep... I know I would never be able to hold it. Plus, there's all the responsibilities, you know, the getting up early, the having to work for somebody else, and the, the, the phone calls, which is the thing that I really, really fear. I've never really told anybody this, but I have a major fear of the phone. I... Even if it's somebody I know, I just don't like talking on the phone, and I know that if I had a job, that was that would be something I would have to do. So that's one of the things that's all that's kept me from getting a job. And I don't want to lose my benefits. I know I'm on benefits, and other people's money are paying for my life. So don't bother pointing that out. But you know, as I wouldn't be able to hold a job, I'd lose the benefits when I get a job. Um, uh, you know, if I got a job and when I got fired or quit the job, you know, I'd just end up worse off than I am, so I thought it'd be better off to not even go there. Patrick Grogan or Grogan or whatever, have you ever considered coding? You talk about computers a lot and ways to improve them, so no, why not try to create a program of your own? The learning process is long and tedious at times, but it is cool creating and running your own programs. Well, 
I have had a look at coding, but I looked at coding and thought, ah, I'm not going to do that. Although that was my um, response to trying to learn machine code on the um, Z80 machine code back in the day. Although I did master BASIC, and I have made quite a few programs in Amstrad BASIC on the Amstrad CPC. As a matter of fact, here is a game I made when I was a kid. It's about one of the only ones that survived. And yeah, it's this game where you sort of run and jump and collect diamonds and blow up walls that are in the way with bombs and... Yeah, I found this back in like 2004. I made a few improvements to it, you know, I added a menu. Well, not a menu, but a title screen and some music to it and... If I find if I find a way to upload this, you know, so you can play it, and if you want to play it, of course, you will need an Amstrad emulator to play it on, though. But as for things like assembly language and things like C and everything like that, I've no clue. I've just absolutely no clue. This one wasn't in the um, 10K announcement video, but I um, thought I'd include it anyway. So. Yomorimon Dreams says, Clem, how is this doing about the upper school? Well, um, Yoramon, or however you say your name, I'd answer that question, but I've... I'm not really sure what you're trying to ask here. Um, I think you're trying to say that, um, about... I think you're asking about that cartoon that I made about a day at the upper school. And... That cartoon basically was how life was back then. And finally, Little Tales, I mean, Random Guy says, What are your PC specs? Congratulations on 10,000 scubs. I mean, subs. Well, uh, I built my PC back in about 2012. Although, the parts I got for it were sort of collected over time, because I don't have a lot of money to myself. So, my main PC is a, has a Core i5-2770, I think, actually. I'm just going to load up the control panel here and see exactly what hardware I've put in it, because I don't even remember what I've got on this thing. So I'm just putting that up right now. I'm just going into the control panel to see if I can find what it says. I know it's a Core i5 something or the other. Let's if I can remember how to get there. Okay, yeah. A Core i5 2500K at 3.3 gigahertz. 8 gigabytes of RAM. And it's running Windows 64, I mean Windows 7 64 bit. The graphics card in there is a, I think it's an Asus Radeon 6770 series, I think. It's been a long time since I built it and gone inside it again, so yeah, but that's basically why my computer is. I know it's not much by today's standards, but I mean, if I ever do get a lot of money, then I will, will upgrade that computer to something a bit better, but and one more thing, something that a lot of people ask me, but they haven't, surprisingly, haven't asked me this time, is, do I have autism? And the answer to that is, yes. Yes, I do. I am on the spectrum. And that might be why I'm so weird at most times. I think that might be why I want to be a kid again. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I was diagnosed at a very young age, and I didn't even have a full school education because of that. In fact, I had to have private tutoring for a while and um, had to have learning support when I was in school. And as my life isn't going anywhere right now, I think that's all gone to waste. But yeah, yeah, that's basically it. So anyway, that's basically the whole um, questions and answers thing. I wish there was a few more, but uh, I'm sure I've already wasted like 20 minutes of your time. So um, yeah. So thank you again for um, getting me up to 10,000 subscribers and there are more videos coming your way. So until next time, goodbye.